Hello everyone, welcome to ICCD Online Learning. My name is Jericho Vlog and today I'm excited to take you in a journey into the world of platform technology. You may not realize it, but platforms are everywhere. From the smartphone in your hand to the cloud services that power your favorite apps, platform technology serves as the backbone of modern computing. Throughout this session, uh, we'll explore what platform technology is, how it has evolved over time, and why it plays a crucial role in today's digital landscape. Whether you're an aspiring IT professional, a student learning about computing, or just someone curious about how technology shapes our world, this discussion will give you a deeper understanding of the platforms we rely on every day. So, let's dive in. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is platform technology? Imagine you're watching a play in a theater the stage provides the foundation for the performance, allowing actors to move, interact, and tell a story. Without that stage, the performance wouldn't happen. In the same way, platform technology serves as the foundation upon which software, applications, and services are built, operated, and connected. A platform allows different technologies to function together seamlessly. Think about your laptop. It's a hardware platform that runs on operating system, which in turn enables you to use applications. You uh, or consider the apps on your phone like Facebook or Spotify. Each of them relies on underlying software platforms to, fa to function. Today, Platforms have evolved beyond just hardware and software. The rise of cloud computing has introduced powerful cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services or AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Cl uh, Google Cloud, which allow businesses to access computing resources over the internet instead of relying on physical infrastructure. So in short, a platform is a technological stage that enables innovation, connectivity, and efficiency. But uh, to truly appreciate its significance, we need to understand how platform technology has evolved over time. To understand the power of platforms today, we have to look back at where they began. Let's rewind to the 1960s, an era dominated by mainframe computers. These massive machines were expensive, complex, and could, uh, could only run software that was specifically designed for their hardware. If a company bought a particular mainframe, they were locked into that system with no flexibility to run different software this was the hardware-dependent era of computing. Then came the 1980s, bringing with it a revolution that, uh, uh, bringing with it a revolution, the personal computer or PC. This was a game changer because for the first time, operating systems like Microsoft Windows and Unix allowed users to install and run software independently of the hardware. Developers no longer had to write software for just one type of machine. Instead, they could build applications that work across different devices. This era introduced software platforms, making computer more flexible and accessible. Fast forward to the 2000s, and we witness another major shift, the rise of cloud computing. In the past, companies had to buy expensive servers to host their applications. But cloud platforms like AWS and Google Cloud changed the game. Instead of maintaining costly infrastructure, businesses could now rent computing resources on demand. 
paying only for what they used. This shift didn't just make computing cheaper, it made it scalable, flexible, and accessible to businesses of all sizes. Looking at this evolution, we can see that platform technology has transformed from rigid hardware-bound system to flexible, scalable, and cloud-driven environments that power the digital world we live in today. Now that we've explored how platform technology has evolved, let's talk about why platforms are so crucial in today's world. Think about the technology you use every day, whether it's an app on your phone, an online store where you shop, or a virtual meeting with colleagues, all of these rely on platforms to function. One of the biggest reasons platforms are so important is innovation. Imagine if every developer had to build an app completely from scratch creating their own database, security systems, and payment processors, it would take forever. But thanks to platforms, developers can use pre-built tools, libraries, and APIs to speed up the process. For example, if a company wants to add a payment system to their website, they don't need to create it from the ground up. Instead, they can integrate an existing payment platforms like PayPal, Gcash, Maya, saving time and resources. Now that we understand the importance of platform technology, let's take a closer look at the different types of platform. The first category is hardware platforms. These are the physical devices that provide the computing power needed to run software and applications. Imagine your laptop, smartphone, tablet, or even a high-performance server in a data center. Each of these serves as a hardware platform. Let's take an example. Think about a server in a cloud data center. This machine stores data, runs applications, and processes user requests. Without the server's physical infrastructure, websites, mobile apps, and even cloud computing wouldn't function. Another example is IoT devices, smartwatches, smart home assistants like Alexa, and even self-driving cars from Tesla. These are all hardware platforms that run software to provide intelligent services. Essentially, Hardware platforms serves as the stage where all computing processes begin, but they can't function alone. They need software to make them useful. That brings us to the next type of platform, software platforms. If hardware platforms are the foundation, software platforms at wa uh, are what bring them to life. A software platform is a system that provides the environment needed for applications to function. The most common examples are operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Think about it. Your laptop wouldn't be very useful without an operating system. The OS acts as an intermediary, managing the hardware and allowing you to install and run software like web browser, video editors, and games. But software platforms go beyond just operating systems. We also have middleware platforms that act as a bridge between the operating systems and applications. For instance, Java EE or Enterprise Edition and Node.js are middleware platforms that allow developers to build web applications. To put it simply, software platforms standardize the way applications interact with hardware, making it easier for developers to create programs that work on different devices. While software platforms have been a key part of com uh, computing for decades, 
The most transformative change in recent years have been the rise of cloud platforms. And that's what we'll discuss next. The third and most revolutionary type of platform is the cloud platform. Unlike traditional hardware and software platforms that require local installation, cloud platforms operate entirely online. This means that businesses and individuals can access computing resources over the internet without having to maintain any physical infrastructure. Imagine you want to start an online business. In the past, you would need to buy expensive servers, set up networks, and manage software installation. But today, thanks to cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, you can launch a website or an application in minutes without owning a single server. Cloud platform offer scalability, meaning businesses can expand their computing power on demand. If a company suddenly experiences a surge in website traffic, it can instantly increase its cloud resources without investing in new hardware. Cloud technology also plays a major role in big data, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Companies like Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube rely on cloud platform to process massive amounts of data, ensuring that users get personalized recommendations. So, whether you're streaming your favorite show, storing files on Google Drive, or using an AI assistant, you're benefiting from cloud platforms that power the digital world. Now that we've covered the main types of platforms, let's explore how they are used in real-world applications. We've talked about what platforms are and how they evolve, but how do they impact our daily lives? The truth is, platform technology is everywhere, influencing industries from business and healthcare to entertainment and e-commerce. Let's start with business applications. One of the most widely used platform in the corporate world is Salesforce, a cloud-based system that helps companies manage uh, customer relationships. Businesses use Salesforce to track sales, manage customer interactions, and automate processes all without maintaining their own IT infrastructure. In healthcare, platform technology is making medical services more accessible. Take Teladoc, for example. This platform enables remote doctor consultations, allowing patients to receive medical advice without visiting a hospital. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Telemedicine platforms played a critical role in developing, uh, delivering healthcare safely and efficiently. Of course, we can talk about platform technology without mentioning entertainment. Platforms like Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube have transformed the way we consume media. Instead of purchasing DVDs or CDs, we now stream content from the cloud accessing millions of movies, songs, and videos instantly. And then there's e-commerce. Platforms like uh, Shopee, Lazada, empower small businesses to sell products online without needing coding knowledge or technical expertise. With just a few clicks, anyone can create an online store, set up payment processing, and start selling worldwide. These examples highlight just a few ways that platform technology is shaping industries and changing the way we live. Whether it's business optimizing its workflow, a patient consulting a doctor online, or a student streaming an educational video, platform technology is at the heart of modern innovation.